Hey, welcome to Hopscotch's Three Minutes of Code with Ashgabs. I'm Ashgabs. Today we're going to talk about some of the new blocks in the recent Hopscotch update. I know what you're thinking. I hate those blocks. Give me back my old blocks. Well, actually, these blocks are really cool, so let's learn to use them so we can build awesome things. One great new block is the Move with Trail block. This block works just like the Move block. You tell it how far to move, and the object will move that distance. The difference is that when you use this block, it leaves a trail behind the object wherever it goes. To change the color of the trail, simply add a set line color to block before the move with trail block. It will only work if you put it before the move with trail block. Imagine that you're painting with a paintbrush and your paintbrush has no paint on it and you go to paint a line. It won't paint anything, right? It's the same thing with the move with trail block. You have to dip your brush into the color first and then paint. So that's why we have to do the set line color to block before the move with trail block. The same applies with the set line with block. You can make cool shapes when you use loops and move with trail together. You can make a square by using a repeat block and setting it to four, then add a move with trail block and a rotate by 90 degrees block. You could also make a circle by repeating 36 times, rotating by 10 degrees, and then moving by 10. We can set the color of the circle by adding a set color to block above the loop. Or we can put it inside the loop and use a random block to create a rainbow circle. See, move with trail is awesome. Let's talk about the set invisibility block. This block lets you make the object more or less invisible. Setting the block to 100 makes the object disappear. It's 100% invisible or totally invisible. Setting it to zero makes it appear because it's 0% invisible or not at all invisible. 50 would make it halfway invisible. Finally, let's talk about the grow and shrink by blocks. The grow by block only makes the object bigger. Doing grow by 100% makes it grow twice as big. Doing something like 50% will make it grow one half bigger than it already is. Shrink does the same thing, but it makes the object smaller. Doing shrink by 50% will make the object half its original size. Now go use these blocks to build something awesome. The code for all of the examples used can be found in the description section. Happy coding!